My name is Angelia Johnson, and I have the amazing privilege to serve as Washington's Community School Site Coordinator. So without further ado, Cadence, will you come forward, student leader, and help get this program started? My name is Cadence Riggis, and I am a third grade Washington Wildcat student leader. I am here to in introduce Ms. Posey. Ms. Posey is the best principal ever. Leader and me have it. Number one, stays be proactive. Miss Posey does this every day by showing up on time, actually early and ready to work. Please help me welcome Miss Posey. Thank you, Cadence. Welcome community members and distinguished guests to the grand opening of the first security bank at Booker T. Washington Elementary School. We want to thank you for being a part of such a tremendous occasion. I always like to give a little history about Washington. Washington Elementary was, for, was named for Booker T. Washington, an American educator and founder of the Tuskegee Institute. The original building opened in 1949. The present building opened in August 1989 as an incentive school. Washington Elementary became a magnet school in 1990 and offered magnet programs in math and science for many years. Currently, we serve about 350 kindergarten through fifth grade students as a public school, which extends as far north as the Arkansas River and south of Interstate 30. Booker T. Washington once stated, those who are happiest are those who do the most for others. Our school is very fortunate to be supported by a dedicated network of people that put students and families first. This network includes the city of Little Rock, the Little Rock School District leadership, and now, Mr. John Rutledge, President and CEO, and Andrea Lewis of First Security Bank. These individuals are instrumental in the continued implementation of a community school model at Booker T. Washington to ensure equitable support of our most valuable students and neighborhoods. As a leader in me and community school, we are continually looking for ways to build leadership and life skills in our students. The addition of the school bank will expand these life skills, introduce financial literacy skills, and reinforce a community network that supports our students and their families. The jobs created as part of the school bank give our students a glimpse into their future role as positive community members. We are extremely grateful for Washington's partnerships with Little Rock leaders and their commitment to the Wildcat community where great happens here. All right, next up will be Jaden Houston. Good morning. My, wait. Good morning. My name is Jaden Houston, and I am a third grade Washington Wildcats student leader. I am excited to introduce Mr. Poor and Mr. Dr. McGee. Mr. Port is our superintendent. We are going to miss him after this school year, but we will always remember how he used leader and me habit number three, put first things first. He knows how to focus on the important things like the students and our families. Dr. McGee, our deputy, deputy? Superintendent also works every day to make sure we all synergize as habit number six teaches us. So after a video greeting from Superintendent Poor, we will hear from Deputy Superintendent Dr. Keith McGee. Hello, it's Mike Poor. Boy, I'm so sad that I am not able to be with all of you today as we celebrate the grand opening of a bank at Washington Elementary. God, this is exciting, and what a great partner First Security has been for LRSD. We're so appreciative that they want to help young people have a better understanding of financial literacy. And of course, if you have understanding of financial literacy, you have an understanding 
of your future. That's really what we're most excited about, I think, with this new partnership at Washington is that students and staff this is, and parents, this is helping prepare our young people for a bright future. Just think about it, a $5 investment right off the bat from First Security and then the opportunity to create even greater savings and have your money start to work for you. So this is really a wonderful thing, it's so exciting that our students will actually be helping run that bank and, and organizing it and, and executing it. First Security is our partner, a Washington staff that cares. Man, this is just too good to be true. So I love it. Um, congratulations. Hate that I'm not there. Enjoy this morning and enjoy the fruits of being an investor. That's really what you are right now. You're investing in your own futures. So thank you all for that and have a wonderful day. Well, good morning, everyone. Wow. I am just so excited and want to echo the words of our superintendent, Mr. Poor. But also, also, I just want to take a moment to say what an awesome opportunity for this and for our school in Washington here, Booker T. Washington Elementary. Booker T. Washington once said this about excellence. He said that excellence is to do a common thing in an uncommon way. What an uncommon way to do a common thing to partner with First Security Bank and to be able to have our kids to do this investment. So I'm just so excited, and I'm excited for, uh, for the principal and to the school and to our district and to all, more important, to our students. Again, thank you so much, First Security and everyone. And also, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge our board members that are here. We want to say thank you for being here and all of our community partners, Dr. Jay Barf and his efforts here, and everyone that is valued and made this partnership available and happen. So thank you so much. Greetings. I was hoping to not have to get up here again, but we've learned two things, monitor and adjust. So we would like to have our student leader, Ms. Taylor and Hodge, come forth and introduce our bank representatives as we await the arrival of our wonderful mayor. Taylor, will you please come forward? Hi, my name is Taylor Hodge. I'm a fifth grade Washington Wildcat student leader. I have the privilege of introducing Mr. Rutledge and Ms. Lewis. Mr. Rutledge cannot be here on today, but he's not relaxing or sharpening his saw, which is weird on me, habit number seven. He is taking care of an important bake business. So we have Ms. Lewis here today. Ms. Lewis is already a Washington Wildcat in my book because she has been here at the school many times this year. She is helping us to get ready for this very day. And she is going to stay a part of our family by continuing to teach the students how to save and teaching our families about home ownership and our financial matters. After a video greeting from Bank President Rutledge, I mean Rutledge, we will hear from his list. Hey everybody, sorry I can't be there today. My name is John Rutledge with First Security Bank. We're excited to be in Booker T. Washington Elementary School, bringing banking to you all. It's so important to have our kids ingrained into the financial system and money. You know, money makes the world go round and we're here to help. Wish I could be there with you all today, but you're in great hands with Andrea Lewis. I know she's in the crowd. Um, we're excited to be seeing you on a regular basis and cheering for you all. So thanks for letting us be a part of this magnificent day. Have a great day. See you. Good morning. And as our president stated, we are excited and happy to be here. I am Andrea Lewis with First Security Bank. And I just want to start by giving um, thanks and kudos to the students and the staff here at Booker T. Washington Elementary. We brought an idea to you all, and I'm thankful to First Security because we have truly been investing in our youth for some years now, and we want to give $5 to start them off with their own savings account. And Booker T. Washington, y'all just took it and you ran with it. And I want to give a huge shout out to Ms. Posey and Ms. Johnson and all of her, their team because they have truly made it easy for us. Um, I want to just say keep up the good work. We want to continue to get more students signed up so they can start saving because this is available for all youth. All youth ages 0 to 17, First Security Bank, 
wants to truly make the investment. If we're giving you the $5, we've taken the first excuse away. You can't say you don't have any money. Now we just need a parent or guardian to truly set that child up for a successful financial future. And that just means you say, I'm going to uh, have my child where I'm authorizing him to have a savings. That's it. We've made it really simple. So again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the Little Rock Regional Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to the city of Little Rock. Thank you to everyone who truly pays, plays a part because it does take a team effort. Okay. So now we're going to give certificates to, we like to call these the founding student account holders because these are the ones who have set their account up already. So when we get ready to have bank day, they're already good to go. So first we'll have Madden Abraham. <laughs> Talia Atwood. Martavion Benton. <laughs> Madison Crockett. <laughs> Jamani Davis. <laughs> Asia Gentris. Jada Hammond. <laughs> Taylor Hodge. <laughs> Jaden Houston. <laughs> Brittany Johnson. Don Johnson, Emerald Jones, he's not here, okay. Courtney Key, Cadence Riggins. Christopher Walker. So again, I just want to say thank you and I am passing it back over to Ms. Johnson. I want to make um, a special announcement or a special shout out to our city officials that have joined us on today. We have our city director, if you want to give us a wave, Mr. Virgil Miller. Thank you for being here. State Representative Denise Ennett, so glad you could make it. We have Chamber Reps and Board Members, our Chamber Representatives from Little Rock Chamber of Commerce, if you'll give us a wave. Thank you so much for being here. Board Members Norma Johnson, Vicki Hatter. We have um, the second best principal in the Little Rock School District. Mr. Philip Carlock from Stevens Elementary. You know we have the first, right? All right. And then we also have our Executive Director of Elementary Education, Mr. Darren Smith. Our CEDO of the City of Little Rock, Mr. Do Dr. Jay Barth. Did I miss anyone? Because we are so thankful that you all are here. I'm looking. Oh, our mayor is here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jada, will you please do the honor of introducing our, our mayor and let him come up? We are so excited. Greetings, my name is Jada Hammonds and I am a fifth grade Washington Wildcat student leader. I have the honor of introducing Mr. Scott. Frank Scott Jr. made history on December 4th, 2018 when he was elected as the city of Little Rock 
Little Rock's 73rd mayor and first popularity elected Africa, African American chief executive. Mayor Scott known how to begin with the end in mind like leader in me habit number two says. By uniting our community, our neighborhoods and reminding young people how valuable we are now. Mayor Scott is making sure Little Rock is a great place to be today and tomorrow. Please help me welcome Mayor Frank Scott. Jada, thank you so much. I do appreciate you for that warm introduction. Uh, before I get started, I just want to take time uh, just to share the appreciation of First Security Bank uh, making this type of strategic investment uh, in Washington Elementary, but in the Little Rock School District. Uh, as many may or may not know, um, I was uh, privileged uh, and blessed to be a team member of First Security Bank for close to seven years, and so I'm very grateful uh, for that opportunity uh, to be a First Security Banker where we truly invest in the community, and this truly is an example of investing in the community. And then also, uh, when I see uh, um, Mr. McGee and Darian Smith and uh, Dr. Jay Barf, who's our Chief Education Officer within the City of Little Rock, truly want to take time just to share uh, their appreciation uh, because never before uh, people would have thought that the city uh, and the district would be working hand in hand together to focus on our youth. And that's exactly what's been able to happen in the last couple of years. And what a time to do it uh, in the middle of the pandemic when we needed an all hands on deck approach. Uh, and so I just want to take time to share our appreciation to Superintendent Mike Poor and his leadership, uh, as well as Mr. Darian Smith and Mr. McGee and Pamela Smith and many others. I see Vicki Hatter, former uh, school board president, still a school board member, uh, because it takes our entire community uh, to focus on our youth who are our most precious assets. And so to the, the youth who are here today, I just want to say uh, it's indeed a pleasure to be in Washington Elementary. Uh, you may not uh, remember this, but uh, when I first got elected in 2019, you were the first school for me to come and visit. And you all did a very, uh, had a great program, and I'm very appreciative, and I'll never forget that particular memory. Uh, and so as I think through uh, what today is commemorating, uh, we're commemorating uh, an investment in our youth. Uh, we're focusing on banking and saving because right now we have to, our youth have to understand the value of a dollar. You have to understand how do you leverage that dollar to ensure that your future has a bright, that you have a bright future. And so when you have an organization like First Security Bank teaming up with the Little Rock School District and with uh, the leadership and the faculty and the staff here at Washington Elementary, it's a great day that you have your own, very own bank right here at school. So you don't have to ask your parents or your guardians to take you to the bank. You can do it right here at First Security Bank that's located at Washington Elementary. And so what I also want to share with the youth is really just kind of three things uh, that I try uh, to focus on. So it has nothing to do with banking, but everything to do with your future. And so uh, what I want you all to remember today is what I call the three P's. Can y'all say three P's? Three P's. And so when you think about these three P's, this is what lines out our individual lives. Uh, right now you are young, but I can assure you sooner or later you're going to get older. And you're going to wonder, why in the world did I want to get older? You don't want to get older. You got to start paying bills. You got to go to a job. You got to do various different things. However, we all strive to get older because we want to have a better position in our life. And the way to do that is not only uh, focusing on our banking and our savings, but I want to ask our youth to understand that we all have to what? Prepare for the day. Say prepare for the day. So for me, and maybe for you, preparing for the day may merely just mean making up your bed. And when you make up your bed, guess what that means? You are showing some type of discipline in yourself. You're showing that you're going to get some order about yourself before you enter outside of your home. Some, it may be making the bed. Others, it may be having a word of prayer. Others, it may be exercise. But figure out what you need to ensure you set order in your life before you leave your home. And if you understand that, you will have a better day no matter what. Secondly, after we understand that we're going to prepare for the day, we have to understand that we're going to push through life circumstances. Say that with me. Push through life. So a circumstance just really means you're going to have some good days, some bad days, and as my grandma would say, some show enough ugly days. So you're going to have good days, bad days, and ugly days. And so a bad day may mean you get into an altercation, 
A bad day may mean a health scare. A bad day may mean a financial scare. Anything that bad happens to you that you can truly push through it. But you have to have the right attitude to push through the day. And so then finally, after we understand that we're going to prepare for the day, we're going to push through these life circumstances, no matter if it's a good day, a bad day, or an ugly day, we understand from this particular standpoint that we have to pay it forward. First Security Bank is paying it forward by investing in you. First Security Bank is paying it forward by understanding at such a young age that you will understand your finances. But you, after you understand it, you have to share with your other friends, your other family members. You have to give back. And that's what it's all about. Preparing for the day, pushing through life circumstances, and paying it forward. And so before I leave you today, um, one of the great things about being mayor is you can make certain days. You can proclaim certain things. And it goes a part of the historic record of the city of Little Rock. And so on behalf of the city of Little Rock and our chief education officer and the members of the Little Rock City Board of Directors, today is Washington Elementary Day. Yay. I try to remember that I'm an adult, but I get easily excited. Did you guys hear that? Today is Washington Elementary Day. So we'll forever go down in history. March 1st, Washington Elementary Day. So excited. So, I'm going to ask for Talia to please come forward and introduce our amazing assistant superintendent. As she comes forward, young leaders, will you please stand and follow me to the, to the foyer? Assistant, what did I say? Did I say that? My gosh, I have put you up there. I'm excited. Our assistant, that's why I didn't want to get back to the mic. I get excited. Our assistant principal, come on, Talia. Young leaders, please stand and follow me to the foyer so we're ready for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Adults, you'll be short soon to follow. Hello, my name is Talia Atwood and I am a fifth grade Washington Wildcats student leader. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Moore. Ms. Moore is the assistant principal just like Ms. Posey. Ms. Moore is an adult leader who leads by example. Every week she displays Leader and me have before think win-win by keeping our student Wildcat store full of rewards. The prizes in the store encourage and remind each student to do their best. And when we do, we not only see good grades and behavior, we also see cool prizes. prizes. Please help me welcome Ms. Moore. Thank you, Talia. I do have aspirations in the future, so I like the idea of assistant superintendent. Never, never, never dismiss an opportunity. Um, well, so Martavion left. So Martavion Benton is one of our student leaders, and we told, I told him he had made my speech, so I was going to give him a chance to um, stand up and wave. But last week, we were having a conversation uh, about his new job at the school bank. And so I asked him if he knew anything about a reference check or a background check. And he said, well, that's when someone checks in on you. And so I shared with him as a Wildcat um, scholar that administrators and teachers were his reference check and that we had high expectations for his capabilities as both a school leader and bank employee. BTW's vision of fostering the whole child through academics, leadership growth, and life skills now has additional support with the grand opening of the First Security School Bank. Since today is Fat Tuesday, I hope this works. I had turned down my volume a moment ago. Um, since today is Fat Tuesday, I wanted to pause for a moment and use a quote or a phrase that you often hear today. Let's see if this works. Laissez le bon temps rouler. I'll play it one more time. Laissez le bon temps rouler. So, today we are definitely letting the good times roll with our grand opening of our school bank, thanks to First Security. I am going to now direct you back into our main foyer where we will have our ribbon cutting ceremony and you will see um, some deposits made from our students. Mm -hmm. 